Welcome to the Big World Introduction Tutorial Part 2. This time we are going to make it work with a server. We're continuing from last time where we had the res client only folder. We're going to make a copy of this and call it the res client server attempt folder. Now we also have the res client server folder which represents the tutorial state after we finish this hopefully. Now from this res client server folder we want to grab the characters folder which has the character model we want for this. So you see here there's the various models, uh, the animations. Uh, so we copy this characters folder and take it to our res client server attempt folder we just copied. Okay, now once we have that there, we are then going to go in uh, to uh, the res server folder, which is something we also are missing. Under the res server folder, there is a file called the bw.xml, which is a configuration file for Big World that allows us to determine whether we want to use production settings or development settings, and there are XML files that you can find out more information in the Big World documentation. Also, we have the default entity type that uh, users will default to when they join, and what you should do. There are a few other flags as well. Now, under the scripts folder, you'll notice here, this is our scripts from the last time, we're going to go into the server example, and you'll see there's a base and cell uh, subfolders to the script folder. So we'll copy those from the client server example and put them under our client server attempt folder. Now under the base and the cell you'll see these three entities, so the avatar and space and the big world personality scripts. So firstly uh, we'll look at the entities XML and we'll see here that uh, we've got the avatar from last time and now we want to add a space uh, entity. Now the space entity is only going to exist on the server, so we're going to put it in this part of the section. So once we save that, we also need to make sure we then define the uh, def file for it, which is under the entity desk folder. And we need to give it the same name, so it will be space.def. Uh, for this, we can also go back to our client server example and grab from there under the entity desk folder a space.def file. So if you didn't have this, normally you would just uh, copy another def file and rename it with the right name and then actually change the attributes in it to what's required. Now you notice here we don't have any volatile properties, but we have a space directory. And this is probably where the resources are for our uh, part of the level. And here is the name of the geometry we might want to load. So there's just two parameters there that don't need to be synced between client and server. Now if we edit the space.py under the base folder, you'll see here we have inherited from the big world base called space and the avatar will be similar. And you'll see here the base initialize that so we'll call the parent class initialization. We create a new space in the world. We add geometry using the space DIR and we've got this space uh, default space. Now on registered we we succeeded, we can print that out to the console. Otherwise, on losing the cell, we destroy the object. Now, with the cell, we've got the implementation of the space object in the base. Now, here you'll see it's, the, uh, it's part of the big world entity, its parent. Again, we call its constructor. And in here, we'll go also have the destructor, uh, destroy space, and add geometry mapping which is called. Uh, you'll see there we're going to actually try and load a particular bit of geometry to the map. Now the personality, B BW personality script is just like the bootstrap uh, where we actually start up things in this case on, on niche we're not actually doing anything for this so far and with the bootstrap we'll create a base locally so we'll called space and we'll give it directory spaces and we can change that from main to main2 to use that level we created in part one. Now if we look at the cell part you'll see here with the VW personality that uh, we're really not doing much here we just got the two functions there on init and on app ready. Now if we have a look at the avatar PY you'll see here we have 
uh, the big world proxy that we inherit from and again we call that inherited initializer and we've got the cell data where we've got a certain position we're going to initialize it to right in the center of the world in this case we're going to create the cell entity uh, in this phase default space is the cell we're going to create them in and then we've got on client death we destroy cell entity and then finally on lose cell we call self destroy but don't call self destroy in the one above finally we've got here with the avatar in the cell script uh, again we inherit here a uh, big world entity and here we have the entity initializer being called we don't need any, to do anything else there for that now if we look at the scripts config xml file we'll see here from last time we have the space uh, main two level being used we've got the avatar being created a certain position and facing a certain direction but now because we've got a server we need to add the server section and we can tell the client to default to online or not and we're going to give it a host now to do this I'm just going to jump in and show you one way to find out the IP address of your server so in this case the server is uh, within VirtualBox and uh, here you can see we can use the I the if config command and there's the IP address we want so we can put that in now if we've got more than one user we normally would want to use a port as well so if there's more than one user connecting to this server so we can then go on to uh, web browser start up the server and within the server logging we can actually check out what the IP address is by filtering the calls or the output from the login app and you'll see the IP address and port number for the external connections. Now this then uh, you can copy over and, and put into this uh, scripts config XML. So here you see the port number is 20,013. So that's the part we want to add. And then uh, once we add that, it's all set up. Now those types of things we'd also be able to configure through the interface within your big world client if you have a more sophisticated interface. At this stage it's quite basic. But you'll see in the fantasy demo you can actually specify those things. Now if we look at the big world personality script on the client, we need to just add a few things. Uh, so far there's the init offline loading up the scripts config. Now we're going to actually read this boolean value that we just put in the scripts config file and if it's true, this uh, server line, which, which it is at the moment, then we're going to call this function called init online. So we need to then create this function because at the moment we only have init offline down the bottom. So call init online and in this case we're going to create this uh, login parameters class um, and we've got uh, on connect which is one of the default calls and these are the parameters passed in and we'll just pass back on that and then within that we're just going to call big world connect and we're going to use our scripts config uh, file and out of that we'll read the details that we just put in for the server address which is server slash host and use that for our address and our port and that's that now again you can look up the strings like the, the connect function for instance for big world to see that what parameters it requires. Now we'll just edit avatar.py on the, the client and we've got uh, on enter world and we're just going to set a filter ourselves so we've got big world avatar filter and we're going to set the model to one that we want to load which is the one we copied over so in this case the characters folder and under that we've got the biped girl model that we want to use okay now you see there under the characters folder that's the model that we'll be loading up for the avatar okay so now under the scripts area you'll, you'll see there that all makes sense so we'll save that And now with the server, we'll just uh, go ahead and what we want to do is configure it so it's going to use the right resources folder. So here you can see this shared folder 
and this folder is actually looking at the same folder on the Windows machine so you can see the various res folders we've created including our res client server attempt folder now this is the one we want to configure big world to use next time it runs so we'll go back in here and we'll run another terminal window and we'll use the big world configure script and in this we'll use our home folder and big world and what we just saw the tutorial folder and the res client server attempt folder okay so that will change it from our fantasy demo folder it was on previously and now we'll be ready to start the server here check the actual folder there you can see the one we just set so that looks good we go uh, make sure they all start up so here we can see they've all registered and they're in the green so now we'll try uh, to run our client now here again it's going to ask for the res folder to use so just drop the res underscore part and put the client underscore server attempt and uh, it will try launching and now what will happen uh, sometimes when you get things wrong you'll see that uh, it's almost like a blue screen and the debug view becomes very useful so here we can see that the scripts config command has failed so if we go in the scripts and open the BW personality Python script that we edited before you'll see here that uh, it's highlighted the mistake that I've made in forgetting the S in scripts config so I'll correct those two there and save that I'll shut down the client and run it again and uh, hopefully this will cure the problem so again I'll enter the client server attempt folder and hopefully it will work this time it just gives you an idea how the debug view can be quite useful you can see plenty of messages going past just there and here we are we're actually successfully in the world running around okay and that's uh, loaded up the model now uh, let's try another client so I'll just run a second one on this machine it will get quite slow but uh, it will demonstrate what you can do and here we have the second client and there we are now make sure we can see the other person there, there they are and so now we are looking good so we've got a, a multiplayer client server environment great thank you and I hope you enjoyed it